Hi, I'm Jilda Bonanno, Executive Presentation Skills Coach and Professional Speaker. Welcome to today's Presentation Skills video, three quick tips for making a great speech. Whether you're giving your speech or presentation to a large audience or a small one, your goal is to be effective, engaging, powerful. You want the audience to remember you for all the right reasons. You want them to remember what it is you said. So here are three quick tips for ensuring that you're memorable and that your speech or presentation is effective. First, focus on your audience. What's important to them? You want to make sure you understand their expectations. What are they expecting coming into this presentation? What have they been told about what you're going to say? You want to make sure you meet those expectations. You want to make it clear to them what the purpose of your presentation is. What is your message? What's the one thing that you want them to remember? Whether you're speaking for two minutes or two hours, what's the one thing you would like them to remember? What's the point? What is the bottom line? What's the headline? If we interviewed all the audience members at the end of your speech and asked them what was the point, we'd want them to say the same thing using different words, but essentially the same thing. So the first quick tip is to focus on your audience, what's important to them, and remembering to be clear about your message so it's easy for them to understand and take it with them. The second quick tip for making a great speech is to practice, practice, practice. Now we understand that, of course, I have to practice my presentation. Well, how do you practice? It's not enough to sit at your desk and think about your presentation. That's not practice. It's not enough to sit at your desk and flip through your slides if you have them. That's not practice. Practice means you open your mouth and say the words out loud in as close to a real setting as possible. So if you're going to deliver your talk in a conference room with you standing at the front, that's where you practice, either the actual room itself, if you can manage it, or something similar. If you're going to give your presentation seated, then that's how you practice. So you're trying to do what we call in theater a dress rehearsal. You're trying to get everything as close as possible to that real environment so you become very comfortable with the material. So when you give it live, if something were to go wrong, you could just roll with it. You would continue with your presentation without being thrown off track. This is not about memorizing your speech word for word. That's a recipe for disaster because then you're stuck in your head trying to remember what comes next rather than focusing on your audience. Rather, it's about getting so comfortable with your material that you can say it several different ways, but still have that same clear message be communicated to your audience. The third quick tip for making a great speech is if you must use slides, use them wisely. So first of all, think about the question. Do you really need slides? For a five minute presentation, do you really need slides? For a one hour speech, do you really need slides? Very often, I think the answer is no, you don't need slides. I know that a lot of companies require you to use slides or the predominant business culture is that you use slides. I recognize that, I understand that, but I really wanna challenge you and think about, do you really need slides? If the answer is yes, I really need slides, then use them wisely. Remember that PowerPoint and Keynote, these are just tools, what we used to call visual aids. They're there to help you, not replace you. So you are the presentations. You are the presentation itself. The slides are just there to help you. So the slides should not have your words written out in full text sentences. It should not contain bullets and bullets and bullets of text and very hard to read graphics and charts. Your slides should merely be an addition to your speech or presentation, maybe containing some high level graphics, some pictures, some information that would enhance what you're saying rather than replace you. So don't think of it as your script. Don't think of it as your handout. It's just slides that will help your audience understand you more effectively. So make sure your slides are created with that in mind. So these were three quick tips to help you make a great presentation. If you'd like more tips, visit my website, 
www.jildabonano.com. Thanks for listening.